What's up guys and welcome back to Mafia 2. Here we go baby, chapter 11. A friend of ours. Back at Villa Scaletta, okay. Somebody's at our what door? What is that? This early in the morning, that's, that's probably not good. What's, what's going on here? Who are you, fam? He looks familiar. Is that, uh, is that what's his name? Um, Frank or was it Frank? I don't remember. We're gonna go ahead and let's, let's put on our suit and overcoat, make sure we're dressed for the occasion, and let's see who the heck is knocking on our hey, door. Hey, Long time no see. Sure. Long Henry. Time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. I knew it was some sort of like a stereotypical name. Here we go. Get into the car with Henry. Let's do it, bro. Where are we going? What's the plan? Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this why? Well, yeah, look. How you going away? I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe he's looking for a job. Go put in a good word for me. Yeah, okay. sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Fido. I owe you one. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. How's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. Well, I just figured you'd do in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss. That's all I'm missing. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. No! Please not talk about this right now. He knows we were there! Again? Don't worry about it. He do we had it though. Dude, I'm feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work. To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me, Joe? Look, kind of wanted to steal that car. Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. We good to go, bro? Let's hop out. Let's go inside to the restaurant. Guess we've got a new recruit today, huh? Got a new, new member that wants to join the family. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. The payment for the hotel Thanks. job. Whoo! Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh... He's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry a chance, Thomas bud. Now. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. 
Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. And it probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. But then? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? So, I mean, I'm always down to ride. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Why not? Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay. You better get going in. See you later, Eddie. Time to find out if we can trust him. him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. I want to see how much money we made. $3,000. Let's go, boys. I honestly feel like we probably could have been paid more there. We've been paid more for other, other things, but... Oh! Oh shoot, here we go. We're gonna get- we're gonna go warn Leo? I mean, I- I guess that makes sense, but I just wasn't really expecting that. Here we go. We're gonna have to break into this thing. There's cops right next to us. You better- you better hurry up, brother. Gotta go! Sorry, got more important things to worry about. So obviously, Leo was kind of a uh, a father figure to us. He helped us out when we were in prison. He gave us good advice. He's always been good to us. He, uh, he even, what's it called? Sorry cops, I ain't stopping. He even um, got us out of prison early. So he, he's always been good to us. I was gonna be kind of sad if we actually did end up whacking him, but I'm just surprised Vito is taking Leo's side over the families, you know what I mean? This seems this seems pretty bad that you'd be going against the wishes of of his family, but whatever. I'm down for it. We gotta get there in a hurry. This car is wanted by the police. This is not good. We're gonna see if we can get there on time, though. Shoot, drifting around the corners. This thing is not very fast. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're about uh, about halfway on our time left. Now I'm pretty sure Leo he lives in that. He lives in that huge house up on the hill, over by where he, we buried that body one time. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up this hill. There's like a windy road, and he's up on the peak of it. Oh gosh, don't don't lag on me now. Sometimes this game lags so bad, dude. And you can't, it won't let you turn or anything. We're good. We're fine. Yeah, he's he's up here on the right. He's not too far away. Here. We're gonna take our first right. Watch out, bro. Whoo! Almost there. Is it? Is it this? It's not that house. It's this house. How do we get in there? Come on! Go, go, go! Gotta warn him. This is gonna cause issues, though, dude. Leo! 
Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shut Leo, this Leo, gun up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called. Leo, there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? <laughs> oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with Okay, you? so what's happening? Bro, Henry's on the way. Hurry up. You're dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. And now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. <laughs> you hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Dude, what? How are we gonna get out of here? Is there a way out the back? Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You gone nuts? <laughs> I'm down, whatever. What, the both of us? I ain't no queer. I ain't gonna lock myself in a cabin Come on, with on, Just get guy. in there, Leo. We don't have time. Hey, don't stand so close. You move over. No, you move over. Shh, shut up. Better be your gun. Oh, uh, what the hell? Hey, Henry. Vito? This your friend? No, he just wants to hang up his jacket. All right, come on, come on, get out of there. It's about damn time you come out of the closet. <laughs> okay, this is not good. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me kill him. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Vito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. Dude! There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Let's go! Well, first, Drive Leo to the train station. Your friend changes his mind. Bro, he let him live! And he's just gonna disappear and it's gonna be like nothing ever happened. That's awesome. Alright, how do we, uh... How do we get out of here? Oh, there's a side door back here. That makes sense. 
That makes I was I was kind of sad, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's take this thing, hundred percent. Probably not the the smart idea since people will be able to see him okay. from a mile away. But now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened. Sure I am, but don't worry, I ain't gonna mention you anything. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Lee. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Leo. What did you expect? To swear the oath, to put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what do you want to do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella. Dude, one that day sounds day. so nice. Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? <clears throat> oh, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, and all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. I'll see you later, Leo. I'll miss you, brother. Thanks for everything. Whew. That turned from a very sad episode into a very heartwarming episode. That dude's about to be on a permanent vacation down in the tropics. I don't blame him. All right, anyway. We're going to go home. Looks like our work here is done. Hopefully, Henry doesn't run us out. We got to... Dark hair, medium build. I was going to say, we're going to change our clothes, and now we're going to have to change the color on our car as well. And, uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep this thing, because it's, it's pretty zippy. I'm not going to lie. Bro, we got cops behind us. We got a mechanic right here in front of us. Here we go. Come on, baby. Pull in. Nice and quick. Body shop. All right. There we go. Whew. I actually, I don't, I don't, it's not changing colors in this game, is it? I'm pretty sure it's, uh... Vito, just tell me what you need. Changing plates, license 80 bucks, plate. yeah. For you, no problem. Okay, license plates. Oh, you can personalize the plates, that's cool. Um, repair the car as well, and we're good to go. So this car is a clean one now. The only problem is we're still wanted, so if a cop drives by and sees us in it, they're gonna write down the plate number and we're gonna be screwed yet again. So we gotta try to get home. Without any cops seeing us. Without causing any trouble. And we should be okay. It's, it's close. Oh. Sorry, bro. Apologize about that. Hopefully we have no cops on the street, dude. We're back home. We're good for now. Our house is here. Almost bypassed it. Watch out, dude. Get out of my freaking driveway. Come on now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, park this thing in the garage. Looks good to me. We're gonna go inside and we are good to go. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, what? <laughs> he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Oh. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a Bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey, when you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. About to don't beat worry. some sense into some this sense dude. Into him, okay? Can't go around beating up my sister. No way. We're gonna have to change our clothes first. 
I mean, since we're gonna get all rough and tough, what do you guys say? Let's let's put on a leather jacket. We're going old school, baby. Here we go. All right, you just sit yourself right down on the front porch while Big Bro goes and handles business here. Let's get it. Bro, I wish there was a way to insure cars so you could always go back and get them, you know what I mean? I really like having a small, speedy little car in this game. It's so much better than having to hot wire the junk off the street. Unfortunately, we always end up losing these things. Anyway. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. We're fine. No worries. I'm out. Y'all can't catch me. Bitch, I did the race. They're not even that far behind us. All right. Ooh, the cocktail lounge. This is where he hangs out, huh? Or where is it? Oh, this this apartment right here. Okay. Time to go handle business. Let's see what we got going on. How are we gonna know which apartment is his? Or his friends? Excuse me, sir. Eric, what the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. You should be busy taking care of your wife, that's all. Consider this a warning. If you touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home, stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. Bro, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? Do the same to the rest of you. Bro. Vito's the man. That was that was cool. I like that. It's not all about being this crazy gangster. Shooting people up and stuff like that. Sometimes you just gotta take care of business on the home front, man. Sometimes you gotta make sure your sister's got a good husband. So, that was, uh, that was good stuff. Alright. I think it's time to head back home. Let's do that. It's raining out. This is probably not the most ideal weather for this this convertible, but that's all right. Let's go home and see uh, see what the cards have for us next. The phone's ringing, bro. What the heck is going on now? Vito, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just, just stay away. So I just saved you from an abusive relationship, but now you're telling me to stay away? I feel like I'm I'm kind of needed here, you know what I mean? Um, I guess, are we just going back to bed? I think we're good to go. All right. I think that's a wrap on this chapter. Oh, maybe not. Torch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cut! Born! <laughs> no! My house! Find a way out. Not going that way. Negative $13,000. What? Jump out the window? Go to Joe's. Bro, I hope we've got insurance. I also hope we don't end up dying here. This is ridiculous. We're close. Come on. Can you hop this? Yep. Thank you. We got crying babies out here and stuff. Bro. What if what if I want my car that was in the garage 
Man, that's what I'm saying. We always lose the cool cars that we get. Get in there, Vito. Come on. Go! Woo! My gosh, that was insane. Just when you thought things were starting to go well for us, you know what I mean? Like, we, we saved our boy Leo. We're in good with the family. We're living a good life. We've got a house. We're taking care of our own personal family and our sister making sure she's happy. Everything's got to hit the fan, dude. I wonder if we're getting chased right now. Ooh. I think we're safe. Joe, my brother, you are not going to believe what just went down, man. My goodness. Dude. Started from the bottom, now we're back here again. <laughs> Back at Joe's apartment, living with Joe. We're literally running back into his apartment in our, our PJs. This is, this is not ideal. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. He's got girls over, guaranteed. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on. All your horses. I'm coming. I'm coming. What were you bothering Excuse me? Underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I'll fix you a drink. It's pink now? Homie, what you are living. Fuck? <laughs> nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... I like it. Different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. <laughs> He's got flamingos in the corner. So oh, what man. the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. Why? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh... Take a look at my closet. Unless you want to go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would I would rather go looking like this. I feel like a crazy person running at you with hey, a gun in his show. underwear. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. Hawaiian shirt, Watch I'm down. Try to kill a good friend a of mine fucking clown, sir. Point this house down. I want to know get where they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're going to have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Bro, are those Puma hey, seats? you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. We're yeah, matching. There's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tower, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. All right. Let's get it, brother. Sorry, I got in the way. Yet, or ti those are tigers. Never mind. Not not pumas. They look kind of like mountain lions there. But uh, yeah, tiger tiger cushions and flamingos and all kinds of stuff. That's that's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I think we left them too early. Come on, Joe. Let's go, brother. Let's not take all day. All right. I'm I'm gonna lead the way. Sometimes he'll spawn out here. Come on, get today. in. Cool with this one? We're gonna take mine, all right? All right. So you heard anything about the Mitch lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mitch got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take the spot. He's trying to show everybody that he needs business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo yo. Oh, let's get over there and deal with them. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of them. I like this plan. Assholes put the fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Just shit, us two versus the piece? whole lot? I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. 
makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. I like how we took my car so his his piece wouldn't have been in here. <laughs> Whoops. Gotta think that one out next time. Anyway. Let's go take these boys down, I guess. I mean, we probably don't sleep with our guns, so we, we lost our shotgun that we paid a bunch of money for. We lost our... Come on. Let's go get these fucks. Our pistol, our Tommy gun, everything else that we had. Here we go. What's up, boyos? I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You would have What's up, boys? Away. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Here we go, baby. Going in. It's on. It's fucking oh, over. shoot. The, the bartender's in on it. He's down. Okay. Got a couple more. One there, one here. Oh, come on. He's not peeking again. Let me get that little shin. That little kneecap. You're dead. He's down. Got one more. Hey, you with the, the machine gun. Bro, what are you looking at? Let me take this real quick. I'm gonna grab these guys' ammo. Bro, that bar, the bartender had a, a machine gun as well, the MP40. Let's go ahead and reload this. Here we go. He's trying to run. There's more of them in that car. Let's go, get in the way. All right, shoot. Come on, you drive. We got the cops on us. Bro! Got Don't shoot at him in front of the cops! That's not the best idea I've ever seen. I feel like you're making this a lot harder for us. All right, now you can shoot at him. Dude, if we would have been quicker, we could have totally shot him right in that alleyway. Okay. Gonna need some more upbeat music here or turn the radio off, that works too. Hit your shots, come on, buddy. I need you here, Joe. Are you serious? I was trying to box him in right there. We didn't have the, the quick enough bricks. That takes care of that. It. Got him. Stupid fucks. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Sorry, buddy. I wonder why he got out. I guess his car was on fire. Anyway. Yeah, but End of the rainbow. Back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. Dude, that's kind of sad. Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start the Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things. Those are my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be born again. I'm a fucking war frat like an old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full, isn't it? We need to teach Vito about uh, some, uh, you know, insurance policies, 401ks. What is this, not just keeping all of his cash all in a shoebox under his mattress, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to come back here, we're going to drop Joe off, and then we've got Marty's apartment, which is nice, but it's honestly yeah, kind of sad. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Go to Marty's old apartment in Oyster Bay. All right. 
Got some new digs for now. Let's go see what this is all about. This is it right here? I mean... It's not the nicest place I've ever seen. How do, how do we get inside? I'm guessing it's up top. Ah, right here. So we've got... Uh, looks like we might have a garage out back. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. My fucking dump. <laughs> God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Dude, this does... There's a battleship in the shower? And it's not even draining? Bro, Marty, how are you living like this, homie? Alright, well... Fuck, this is creepy. Back to square one. 